These are all pretty bad, by the way. Okay, it's about nine o'clock at night here in Vienna. Uh, we're just out with friends for a bit, so kind of had dinner. Had to force some of this stuff down. So I didn't really film the actual tasting part, but I'll just give you the, the summary at the end, starting with the worst to the best, I guess, of this flight. There was uh, seven different drinks, and they're all high protein, fortified, but with milk as the first ingredient, as that's the, the criteria now for me to try something. Milk's gotta at least be the first ingredient. They're all chocolate flavored. So the worst one, would be this. It's all in chocolate, it's all in light. It's the light version. It tasted like wet cardboard and that sensation wouldn't go away. Uh, it was really nasty. There was no chocolate flavor, no anything. The second worst, I guess, is this stuff. Chief's Choco Mountain Milk Protein. Uh, it's this kind of nasty gray color which doesn't really bother me it, it was deceptively thin and just went down your throat immediately didn't give you a choice to even spit it out um, there was no, no redeeming qualities about the flavor it's just pretty gross starting to get better here this nupo one meal low calorie cocoa it didn't really taste anything like cocoa and the sweetness was poorly executed i felt it made my tongue water, uh, not really the desired effect. Couldn't take too many sips of that. Started to get a little bit better here with the Nom Fasten protein drink. Um, it was artificially sweetened and you could tell it was pretty cloying and kind of powdery, but it was drinkable and acceptable for a high protein drink. You'd make some sacrifice on taste for something that uh, I guess has characteristics physical characteristics that you're after. The next better one, I guess, uh, this one I think for me was slightly better, this Slovakian Rayo Active Protein. That's very memorable, it was shockingly unsweet. One of the least sweet products that I've had, uh, which initially kind of jars you after having a sweet product uh, back to back. The cocoa flavor was strong enough, even though it had a little bit of a hint of anise maybe to it at the end. Which I'm not a fan of, but it was muted enough that it wasn't too offensive. Most of the the unsweetness of it um, brought the other flavors to light a little bit better. Uh, the next one, the All In One Shaco. Uh, this is the non-light version. This actually has a ton of calories in it uh, and doesn't taste too bad. It was quite thick, which I'm not a big fan of, but it was creamy and you know the, the chocolate flavor was there a little bit. And there was really no off-putting nasty flavor like uh, like the light version had. And it's got a ton of vitamins and all this other chemical stuff in it. The, uh, the ingredients, uh, translating that into English was real fun. Uh, it's super long. But it didn't taste like something that would have all that fortification in it. So uh, good on them. I'd say the best tasting product, I think an average chocolate milk score, which is good for a protein fortified drink, is this Emmy Energy Milk stuff in a bottle. Now, I've had this in Switzerland and it comes in like a, one of those boxes, but that was a different formulation. That was a lot more calories. This one's only 64 calories per 100 mils. And uh, actually the, the chocolate taste was very true. Uh, nothing felt too kabuki, it was a little bit grainy, but uh, overall it was, it was a, a pleasant experience. That uh, wraps up my late night-ish drinking of uh, seven things and one was average. Uh, it's not really what I'm looking for. Did pick up a couple other things tonight, so I'll have maybe two new chocolate milks to try in the morning. Gonna have a little bit of a light breakfast this morning. For me, only two chocolate milks to try. They're the, the ones left over um, that I couldn't squeeze in last night when we did all the, the, the protein drinks. Still a little bit full from that, but here we go. Got a couple interesting ones that we picked up at Mercure last night. Mercure Immergut. 
you'll notice it looks an awful lot like the Billa cacao that I had just recently and it's actually it's made by the same producer and has exactly the same ingredients and nutritional information except 82 calories instead of 81. Everything else is exactly the same. I'm sure that's maybe just a rounding thing or whatever. My expectation is that it's gonna have the same sort of earthy cocoa taste. No, it doesn't really. No, it's pretty much a straightforward cocoa taste. I like it, I like it better than the Billa, I think, it's because it doesn't have that, uh, that kind of a sour earthiness. It's not bad. Lastly, this is an interesting one. Kambaku Power Cacao. I've never seen cacao spelled that way, C-O-C-C-A-O. -C -C Produced in Germany, but it's a, a local company here in Vienna. And this has some interesting, it has caffeine in it, and it has marula fruit extract, which evidently is a new fruit to me. It's a fruit of the elephant tree. And apparently elephants will and other animals will eat the fruit and it metabolizes as alcohol in their stomach and they get drunk off of it. So uh, if I'm a little bit rowdy on the bus later, you'll know why. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's different. It's it does have a it is chocolate milky and it's it's pretty high calorie. It's 102 calories per 100 mils and 4.1 grams of fat, so it's it's more indulgent of a drink. It reminds me actually of, um, it has a little bit of a alcohol quality, but not the nasty, rummy, boozy stuff that you have in some chocolate milks. It reminds me of Irish cream, the Bailey's uh, Irish cream. Just a part of it. Yeah, that's actually pretty tasty. It's good, I'm probably gonna drink the whole 330 mil bottle. It's very unique, uh, kind of almost like an apothecary shape to it. Pretty attractive looking thing. Looking at it right away, you don't know that it's chocolate milk, I guess, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good. You'll have to try that. So yeah, uh, heading to Budapest in a couple hours. Checking with then with some Hungarian chocolate milk. And yes, I did sleep in this shirt last night. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention, which one is it? This stuff, I forgot. Choco, this, is, this stuff was nasty. Um, I would consider a chocolate milk to have uh, a high, high amount of fiber if it had one gram of fiber per 100 mils. Usually it's less. This stuff has 4.6 grams of fiber per 100 mils. I don't know if you can see it on there, probably not. 4.6 grams of fiber per 100 mils. So in that whole bottle, there's, I don't know, 16 grams of fiber or something like that, which for some people you might want to, if you're gonna drink it, be near a toilet. And probably more so for the, the puke aspect than the, the other end because it tastes like shit. <laughs>